I embarked on this journey about uh, eight months ago, and over that time, I have had just the most amount of phenomenal support from you guys all along the way. And you know, I thank you so much for all of that because it's it's you know been one of those big support mechanisms in just making this huge leap. But since I got here, just good things have just happened left and right. And I feel like you know today on a day where I was just having a really crummy morning dealing with the banks and just logistical things going wrong and I really realized that, that these are small problems and, and everything can get worked through but one of the you know I, I feel like there's some people that are truly deserve some praise that have um, that have made my life since moving to the bay just uh, everything that I, I dreamed of and uh, hoped for when I you know decided hey I'm not waiting for anyone to give me permission to go and be a successful podcaster I'm just gonna do it right and um, and I'm, so I'm on my way back from Petaluma, and it was just at uh, Twit, where um, Tom Merritt and Sarah Lane just have a way of, you know, really brightening my spirits. So thank you so much to those guys. If you don't know, I do a show on uh, Twit called TNT, Your Tech News Today, uh, with them, and uh, just have so much fun doing it on Mondays. And, uh, and also, Molly Wood for having me on Buzz Out Loud, uh, a show that I've been listening to for the last five years, and, you know, as long as Hack 5's been going. Um, just phenomenal uh, opportunity to go and do stuff on CNET and, you know, get my name out there and be a part of that. And, um, and you know, Dave, my roommate, uh, Dave Randolph, you might know him from, you know, System or, or other projects, uh, you know, helping, you know, taking me in and everything and, and teaching me so much and just I've met so many great people and this whole experience has just been so rewarding and one of those things where I feel like uh, when you put yourself out into the universe and you just like you know uh, try something bold and take a risk and if things are meant to be uh, they will just everything will just come together you know and I feel like that's totally the case here and um, so yeah, I, I hope that wasn't um, too zen for a video blog, but I guess the takeaway here is, you know, never just don't wait for anyone's permission, you know, to, to do what you love. You just have to go and do it and, you know, Walt and, and uh, what were, I was just reading an interview with Walt Ribeiro um, on, uh, on methodshop.com talking about how, you know, if he could give like one piece of advice to his fans, it was just like, do what you love, the money will come. And people told me that for years and years and years, and I, I was very skeptical. Um, but I finally like truly agree with, with Walt in that regard. And, and it's not even just about the money or, or you know, it's about that, that sense of personal success. And, um, and yeah, I'm very thankful that I will get to, you know, as I'm thanking these people here in the Bay Area that have made, um, my move here feel like home, um, I hope that I can do the same thing for, say, you know, Shannon or the other unannounced Hack Fibers that are making their way west in February, uh, because there's just nothing but great opportunities when you take those risks, you get rewarded, and that's what's on my mind, and I just kind of felt like I had to, you know, felt like sharing with you guys, and if you have some thoughts on that, I'd, I'd love to hear. I hope you guys are doing well. Take care. By the way, this is the Richmond Bridge. It is pretty.